afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. Digging in now, Elvis Andrews. He will lead this one off today. Granky ready now, the 1-1. One, one. This is hit high and deep out to left. Brantley going back. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. Batting second. The third baseman, number six. Matt Duffy. To the plate now, Matt Duffy. On, he pops it up. Therefore, it is Guriel, and there's one gone. Up next for the Rangers, Willie Calhoun. Great the chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Calhoun. Working for the punch out and the offering. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Brentley is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And up to bat next, the left handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. And it's one and two. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. One and two. Here it is. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. A ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. The one-two. Hits this one hard the other way. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. At the plate, Alex Bregman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hopped up. Guzman shading to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. 1-1. This is in the air out to right. Chu has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next up for the Strohs, Jordan Alvarez. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 1 1 home. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Chu. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So next to the plate for Texas, Danny Santana hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And he fouls this one off. Here's Grinke's 1-2. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Springer. Gone to lead off the inning.
Into the box, Shinsu Chu. Chu with a two ball, one strike count here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. The first baseman. Now to the plate, Ronald Guzman. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. A three and one pitch. And he goes with the slider here as that misses in tight. It's ball four. Here's Rognit Odor now. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Granky ready now. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground to short. On to Altuve for the force out, and the inning is over. half of the second set to go and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel the 1 1 home misses for the second ball oh and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one to be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now if I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Stepping up to the plate, George Springer. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Still two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. So coming to the plate, Carlos Correa. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 3 1 is taken for strike two. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Correa, the runner at first with two gone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. In now, Garrett Stubbs. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Gallo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. The 1 1. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. One out, nobody on. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Altuve. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinke's got himself two outs. 
Striding okay. forward now is the DH, Definitely Willie good. Calhoun. Really he flew good. out in his last no, at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Brantley. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So it's back to the top of the order now. And Michael Brantley settles in the plate. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. One out now in the Houston third. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, had a hanger that time, but missed it. One and two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Bregman is retired, two down now. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Now back, the designated hitter. Jordan. At the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Hit hard on the ground to the right. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two now aboard now. First Standing in now, Yuli Gurriel. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chu has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Danny Santana. The last at bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Shin Su Chu. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One run, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. 2 and 2. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. 
And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, George Springer. The 1-1 home. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two and two. This is on the ground over the first. And that's through for a base hit. To the plate now, Carlos Correa. This one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Correa in front. Three balls and a strike. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count. All in on something over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. Under it is Chu as he takes it in for the first out. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. One for one after a single this first time up. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. No runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Q shot here out towards short. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Striding in for Houston, Michael Brantley, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The set and the two and one. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. On the first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in to second base with a leadoff double. Up next to the Rangers, the second baseman. So now to the plate, Ruth Nidodor. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The one two. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. The batter, number one. Short stop. Elvis. Andrews. Stepping in now. Elvis Andrews. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. This is foul right side. And now Andre swings and misses here as they're able to set him down for the first down. Now that so one out here eight. with runners at first Matt. and third. And that Duffy. means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. Swinging a soft liner, but this is hauled in by the second baseman. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. 
And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Now back, the left field. Joey. Into the box now, Gallo. Joey Gallo. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty good. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Brett Martin, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Brett. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Bases are empty, one man in. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Next to the the and now, Yuli Guriel. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Here's a pop-up now. Duffy waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now. Danny Santana he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Set to deal on two and two. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. It was a walk in his last trip. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping into the box. Ronald Guzman. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 3-2 pitch. Locks him up for strike three. Now in the box, George Springer. He's working on a one for two game so far. The one one home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Odor has it. Throws in time and that's out number one. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter. But I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner. And if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their now man that. here for the second out. The right so here's Josh Reddick. It was a single for him in his last at bat. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.
Chris Davinsky is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47. Now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. The one two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So here's the left-handed bat of Rudnit Odor. Head-to-head -head against Chris Davinsky. He's totaled four hits in 17 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. A little roller toward the hole. And he'll reach first safely. The bat, number one. Good bat. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Into the box, Elvis Andrews. And there's ball two now. Runner, runner, runner. runner goes for second. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The third base so striding in, Matt Duffy. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Popped up. Guriel is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Cody Allen gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 31. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. At the plate now, Michael Brantley. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So the runner stands at third. One man is out, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. The three and one pitch. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. The one two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. Odor on to first. It's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Framber Valdez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 59. All set for the start of the inning. And standing in is the DH, Willie Calhoun. Fouled off. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. 
So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Ready with the one and one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. The count is full. Three and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Up next for the Rangers. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Nick Goody was on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41. Nick. Bottom of the inning now, and next the dangerous power threat, Jordan Alvarez. He's fallen behind now, three and one. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull the trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick Number off the home eight. Now the Cuban eight. import, Yuli Gurriel. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll ricochet off the facade out there in left center. Miles Straw will be summoned now to be the Number pinch runner. Two. So now to the plate, George Springer, and it's fouled away. Ready with the one and two. White guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. He's set. Here's the two two. A bouncer up the middle. There is Andrus to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in, Carlos Correa. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 1-1 home. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Now battle. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. High in the air into shallow left center. Gallo will have plenty of room as he makes the catch and there's a big out number two. Luis Garcia enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Garrett Stubbs will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. At the plate, Shin Su Chu. He was a ground out victim last time up. And 
And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. The bouncer to the left side. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. At the plate, Ronald Guzman. Here's the 2 1 home. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3 and 1. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Brad Peacock will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 41. Stepping in now, Robinson Chirinos. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Now Stepping in, Rugnet Odor. He's two for three thus far. Odor. The stand alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Again, he sends it out of play. And he takes nope. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Andrew. Here it comes now to Andrus. Nope. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hit softly down the line at first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So stepping in, Matt Duffy. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Slow roller out to short. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Jose Leclerc, if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Here's Michael Brantley. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Popped him up. Chirinos is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Jose Altuve. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And right into the shift. That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one. Two for five now. Now batter. Number three. Into the box now. Miles Straw. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Last strike now for Houston. That misses and we're even at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. 
Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two balls and a strike. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three and one now. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw will be in time to get him at first base. And the Rangers will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The Texas Rangers wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Brett Martin gets the win in relief his second of the year. Zach Grinke pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Jose Leclerc records the save his 18th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Astros, one run, 11 hits, one error. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. Our paid attendance at Minute Maid Park this afternoon, 41,168. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.